Hey, what's up, you guys? So, right now, I'm in the waiting area uh, for my EKG. Um, I thought I think they're just the ones that you put flat on your chest and they kind of test your heart rate. I don't think it's anything beyond that. Um, but a little update on... Let me move my hand. A little update on my port. Um, this is how it looks right now. It's peeling, and then the one on my neck. The one on my neck is sore. The one right here isn't. The reason why the one on my neck is sore is just because, like, when I sleep and stuff and I move around. But then after this, I have the pulmonary test, which is the breathing test. And then tomorrow, I have chemo. So this video is pretty much going to flow into each other because there's no reason for me. There's no reason for me to record my whole chemo session because it's just me sitting there with a bag and stuff like that. Um, but they did say that they're going to give, they got this medicine that I put on there and, uh, put a dime size amount on it and it numbs it so that when they stick the needle in, it doesn't hurt as bad. But I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. So right now I'm waiting to get my pulmonary test. The machine that I just showed y'all is the thing I'm going to sit in and I guess breathe in. They did my EKG. They put like the stickers right here and the um, cords that go to it. And she just pretty much did an ultrasound on my heart. Um, so it wasn't that bad. The only thing was that she was under my ribs. So that's the only thing with that. But other than that, I was pretty good. That's the only thing I can be. Yeah. Sometimes I get it, the feeling I'm gonna throw up and this can't be real. Yeah. But I'm just like, like this can't be right. Yeah. Pretty much. Hey, what about this? So right now we are walking into the hospital to go to the infusion center to uh, start my first round of chemo. Therapy. Um, we're in a parking deck right now. It's pretty easy finding yeah, parking. I'm not <laughs> about to get hit on the way there. Gonna have to be here for Kibo and something else. But yeah, I got some gum because I heard that um, you, if you, well, when you get in the chemo, I heard that it put up a nasty taste in your mouth. These people do not stop. I she see us standing here, and she didn't stop. All y'all are boo boo. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> and so I bought some chips and some bananas. I wanted some grapes this morning, but my mama took them all. So um, I got some chips and bananas, something to drink, some water, stuff like that. But I guess here's to my first round of chemo. Because you'd be looking so fresh. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? I'm good. Um, I said I got this random, like I wanted to throw up. Yeah. And it's not nausea, it's just I wanted to throw up because I was just like, oh, this can't be real. Yeah. Alright, are you ready for this? Mm, not really, but I got to be. So I got a bed and stuff like that. It's a private room for now, and I think later on they're going to put me in a regular room. I mean, like, it's like a strip of people. That's how I think gonna happen. So mm -hmm. we want to be careful when we insert that we're doing it, uh, introducing it on the area. So I'll wear a mask mm -hmm. and you'll wear a mask. Mm -hmm. drug to you, I'll let you know, mm -hmm. um, I'll kind of remind you of things to look for with that particular drug. Do you need some more time with the ice? Mm -hmm. Do you want to lean back in the bed while I do this, or are you okay still sitting on the edge? Um, I'm okay sitting on the edge. <laughs>
your shirt down just like that. I'm gonna put a drape over you and just keep your hands right where they are, okay? Mm -hmm. So which one of y'all were dragging your feet? <laughs> <laughs> present. I'm just letting this dry for just a moment.
So things had got emotional. Um, she asked me about Madison, and I told her, and then it was like anxiety. I started getting hot and stuff before she accessed my port because I thought it was gonna be like really painful. Um, but it wasn't. I'm easily like stuck in my arms and things like that, so it didn't really hurt. But this is my thing right here that they're gonna put it in, and that's how it looked right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. But yeah, it's literally like a butterfly needle, and butterfly needles don't hurt at all to me. Like, I had this one woman taking my blood, and she used this big-ass needle. I was looking at her like, okay. But for the most part, they don't hurt. So, here we go right here. Yeah. It got emotional, I'm not going to lie. I was in here crying. Thinking about Madison, she would have been in here running around. To be honest, we would have had to leave her with her grandparents or take her down his mama house or something for a little bit. Because she wouldn't have been in here acting right. <laughs> She'd have been in here trying to talk to people and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I'm watching Rattled. I don't even know really what this is. But um, they got me on sailing right now. She said that the first hour... I'm, I'm laying in a bed. Um... Uh, the first hour will be anti-nausea medicine and then the rest of my medicines. I'm thinking what well, he said about three hours, but I'm pretty sure it'll probably be longer than that. So that's the anti-nausea medication she just bought in. That's the saline. I'm still doing that. I think I'm supposed to empty that bag and then that. I'm about to pee a lot. I already know that. Hey Amy, it's Ryan. Hi. Hey, I'm, um, so they just put Julia on, uh, on Bedrose. How do you, um, uh, um, like, when we went just for, like, a do normal, it like, and the uh, blood is coming out, how do you stop it from, like, returning she's blood the second time? Already, so she's basically going how do I stop it from... Do? Like returning blood this time because you was able to take blood out of it before. Mm -hmm. So I have to use, like how I get able to stop it because we have um, fluids infusing. Oh okay. So. It's only like 23 and a half weeks, so they have you made it to the you know the 24 week mark. That makes sense. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um. I recorded the first one, the A. The A, um, I have recorded it, but it, it kind of, my phone messed up. So it was like a red Kool-Aid color. <clears throat> and then the other one was a push as well that you're going to, that you saw when she was holding it. And, um, <clears throat> this one is the Ludomycin, I think that's the name of it. But that is pretty much where, um, the... She said it can make you feel different or you can have a reaction to it, but hopefully I won't. But this is the one is this is the one they said can cross the placenta. So the one that's up there in that burgundy looking bag, I think it's light sensitive. That's probably why they got the thing over it. Um, I'm talking on here. I didn't know if you wanted to know. That's my last one. It's going to take about an hour. The other ones were push, um, which they push through this uh, part. My uh, thing itching now. It's itching up under the tape. But uh, for the most part, everything's been good. I'm not allergic to uh, the alcohol that they kind of like break open and put on it. I'm not allergic to that. I know people say you get like a nasty taste in the back of your mouth when they're doing uh, certain medications. I didn't get that. Um, and they said that you can have an adverse reaction to the glutomycin, glutomycin, something like that. Um, but I didn't, so that's good. That's really good. But I peed, and my pee was orange. It was like this color. Okay. It was this color. The wreath on top. Wow. I think I'm going to put a little bit of a different dressing over here. Just so okay. we don't pull any more of that. Just hold that for just a second. Oh, okay. 
So, I know you see me with the mask on, but I wanted to go ahead and finish my end of the first day chemo vlog. It's kind of loud because I'm at the gas station right now. I don't know if y'all can really hear me, but um, it went good. Didn't hurt or anything like that. The anxiety is the worst thing, so I would say to the people out there, um, try to calm your anxiety. But the thing is, is that the fact that my anxiety was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It kind of dwarfed in the sense of when I found out that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and she said that possibly flushing your body with a drinking a whole lot and stuff like that, that could work out too as far as um, less side effects. So I'm going to see if that works. So I'm just saying it's this first chemo treatment. So later on, you can see um, kind of how it go with that. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, this is for the people out there that's going through the same thing I'm going through. That got family members going through it. All that. We got a bunch of masks from the hospital too. And my mom got gloves, so I'll just use that. But we greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate um, y'all watching. People giving us encouragement. And all the things that the hospital has done for us, we really appreciate it. Even though it's chemo, it's like, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's still what it has to be. So I thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video, which will be, uh, I think I have an ultrasound and we'll know the gender. So we'll see y'all later.